switched off without me hearing it, so I'm sorry. I don't know how much I've missed. But I'm painting this with a bit of chalk pastel. Camera's usually pretty good, but it sometimes does that where it will just switch off by itself and not beep at me. And I'll keep going away, talking or doing what I'm doing. And it's only when I look up that I notice it's not even on. dry and then oops and then spray it so it doesn't rub off okay that's done and I've inked the edges so I'm just going to put that aside and um, put this on now I wonder if I should ink the edges on this as well, though I didn't on the other one, and it's got a border, so probably not. Mm. All right. Get this done, and. have it done. I'm thinking though, <laughs> as I often do, to add just a bit more. Um, I might put something on the inside of the lid as well. So I'll get this done first though and we'll see. Boys are snuggled up, ready to go back to sleep. Bandit, um, <clears throat> he loves to tuck himself under his blanket so he'll dig up a dig. He's, they've got like several layers of blankets and um, he'll bury himself under. And sometimes when it's really cold overnight, because we don't have the heating on all night, I will um, wrap him up in a blanket and he'll tuck his little nose in underneath and he loves it, <laughs> he loves being tucked in. Something cute my sister told me is because she has a little um, Jack Russell, she says she tucks her dog in as well and she even sings him a lullaby. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh, I don't think I'd go that far, but <laughs> that's cute. Alright. Ah, it's a little tiny lumpy bit that gets stuck in there. Usually right over the part where the face is. <laughs> oh, come off. I don't know why it's got lumps in it.
there's a lump there too. Mm. It will have to be. Leave it be, otherwise it'll make it worse. <coughs> Speaking of my sister and singing songs reminds me of when um, my kids are younger, she doesn't have any kids, but um, we went on a, um, like a road trip, camping trip together um, to the northern part of the state that we live in and um, to keep the kids entertained we had like a little competition of making up songs and we had to sing them around the campfire and it was a lot of fun. We made up some really ridiculous <laughs> songs. <laughs> but, um, my son at the time, our middle son, um, he was learning to drive then and um, so I let him do a bit of the driving and um, he really enjoyed that. But while we were driving we make up songs and we made up one about my sister's dog and um, surprisingly remembered all the words to that song ever since and that was poor. Easily 20 probably more years ago and um, yeah her dog that we made the song up about has since passed away a long time ago but it's nice having those memories of that road trip that we did together and cause it was just me her and my kids and um, that was a lot of fun, a lot of really nice memories and considering that I can't drive or go and do camping trips and road trips like that anymore it's really nice having those memories I just had my old station wagon at the time that she had a camper van so we used to hop into her camper van and have meals and or we'd sit around the campfire depending wherever we ended up staying. Sometimes we went into a caravan park but um, quite often we'd stay out in the bush or a um, camping place near a river. They were always really nice spots. by the river and then you'd see the wildlife come down at dusk to get a drink you, you know a lot of um, kangaroos and wallabies um, echidnas, koalas all of that Australian wildlife really nice Right, that needs to dry, and then I'll put the Eiffel Tower on. I just left that a bit longer because the spray that I put on it to protect the pastel takes a little while to dry. So I'll probably dry this with the hair dryer, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, that's dry now, but um, unfortunately what happened is the paper's bubbled up here. So that's a shame. It's done it in a few things, but um, it can't be helped now. But I am so glad it didn't happen on the front. That's turned out fantastically in comparison to this. I don't know why this, maybe I put a bit too much glue. It's, yeah, I don't know if you can see the light on it. It's not good, but 
and can't be helped. I'll just have to live with it. So I'm going to put this on. I've forgotten now what flowers I had where, so I'm going to give it another go. Um, I think I wanted these over here. Which I will do and maybe some smaller ones. That one's broken. Maybe some darker ones here. <clears throat> mm. Yep, so and do this and hope that this works a bit better Still very light. It's going overboard like I did with the others. <laughs> While that's drying, I'll stick the other things on. Which I think I'll just use PVA because the hot glue gun's been off for a while and I couldn't be bothered waiting for it to heat up. Just unblock the top to this. This gets a little bit clogged up with the glue when it dries. today. Today's Saturday. July 30. Gosh, almost over. I can't believe it. We're almost in August. You know what? Christmas will be here again soon. <laughs> in no time. I always think whenever it gets to August, that's it. You know, it's is just around the corner because it seems to go really fast from now on after August particularly because we've got a lot of birthdays in our family um, during August and onwards August, September, October, November so um we're generally busy with family gatherings and things like that and the time seems to go faster when you're busy so yeah Christmas gets here in no time now I've only got a couple of reds left and I'm just wondering whether I 
I might leave them off. I might use them on the inside of the lid, maybe. <clears throat> but that needs to dry. And there's probably nothing else I can do here now till after this dries. And I'll put that on. And um, do the inside. This handle keeps some. Um, coming off. It's moved and it's annoying me that it keeps moving back again. I was just thinking that I would um, either hang it off this metal part or off the handle. I'm not really sure. I'll wait until it's done and then I'll stand it up and see how I want it to go. It's a shame about that. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, I'm extremely grateful that it didn't happen on that front piece because... It would have just been so upsetting having um, another image ruined <laughs> after what I did to the first one. I was so disappointed about that. Disappointed in myself that I wasn't more careful because normally I am. I sort of try and research as much as possible about how to do things the right way, particularly something new, but this time I just jumped in and didn't think enough about it beforehand and ended up losing a really great image. I really liked it. She just looked beautiful and I think she matched the, um, the colours and everything really well. So yeah, it's a bit of a crying shame. Alright, I'm going to switch off then and I'll come back after this is dry and possibly work on the inside of the lid. Back soon. Okay, so I've set up um, how I want to do it and I'm going to use that small picture of the same girl I've got on the front. <coughs> <clears throat> with a few roses behind her. So it's just a matter of gluing that down. So I'll take her off. I've put her on a bit of card again, like before. <clears throat> and that works well. So I know that now when I want to use the other images to do that first, or at least make sure I've got a pale background. Oops, move these aside. <clears throat> yeah, so I realised um, only after I'd finished doing the back cover and I stood it up <laughs> that I made another big mistake with this case is that I should have put the images up the other way because now when I stand the case up they're both upside down and it looks funny <clears throat> would have been much better if they were up the other way but again that's too late now, I can't be helped. Let's make sure that's still going to look alright there. Yes, yeah, so I made quite a few mistakes with this one, but it happens sometimes. You know, everyone makes mistakes, don't they? <coughs> 
try not to be too hard on myself about it. Just probably a little bit disappointed that it could potentially have looked better than it does. Throat's been a bit sore tonight, and um, I started sniffling. I think, oh, I hope I'm not getting another flu or cold or something. Surely hope not. I'm a bit happy that I haven't been sick for a while now, and it'd be nice to not get sick again. a little bit over to the left than I wanted but too late now sniffling now I'll try and learn my lesson from what happened on the back and not put too much glue on the front of this one <coughs> Just um, make sure that card's not dirty. Yeah, just try and um, make a really light coating of the glue. the edges are a problem. We press a bit harder with my nail. If my arms in the way. It's the easiest way I can do this for me. See, it's difficult to brush this glue so that it's nice and smooth. Always <laughs> blotches up in the middle. Oh well. That's that. <coughs> okay. I'll try and give it a quick dry. Oops, I've spilt some glue there. I don't want to stick the case over the top of that and get stuck to it. Hair <laughs> dryer. Alright. And the last bit now is to just put the flowers on. Which I'll do with PBA. So way too much glue. Just take a bit off. <coughs> so I that one there. Oops. Still 
important. the wrong way. <laughs> it's supposed to be down here. Yeah, I reckon if I had my chance to do this project over again, I'd do quite a few things differently. But, um, with how it is, which, you know, it's still not too bad, I suppose. <clears throat> but if I ever get another one of these cases, I will definitely make sure the pictures are facing the other way. I'll show you what I mean. So I've done it facing this way towards the handle. Let me bump you out a bit. Hang on, excuse me. Because I've done, done it facing the handle, when I stand it up, it's all upside down. <laughs> Which is not really ideal. <laughs> it would be much better if it was facing that way. But I suppose I could st stand it on the handle. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's it now. That's finished. Oh no, hang on. I wanted to put some little red flowers in there as well. I forgot. Just going to put them right on the edge of the picture. Oh, my leg's banging up against the drawer on this desk. It's making a creaking noise. Stop doing it. There we go. Done. That's inside. Front and the back. Whoops, shiny. And <clears throat> I need to put the tag on. But see now, because I've painted this, it's warped it a bit, and it's really, really hard to close. <laughs> and it might be twice as hard to open. There, I did that so. I'm not sure really where, which way I want this to go now that it looks upside down. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll have it hanging off the side. I'll pass that through here. take photos to put on the end. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tighten up for me. Tighten. There. That's my project with quite a few mistakes. <laughs> All right, I'm done. 
hope you enjoyed that. Hope you had a few laughs. laughs. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.